Okay. <laughs> okay. I have a new project. It's been a while since I documented a commercial project from start to finish. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to do it because it's a fun project. I'm really excited about it. I really wanted this project and we got it. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. Basically, this is for a theater and they're having a kids festival or a children's festival. You would have seen me just marking out dates in my calendar. For those of you that don't know, we often send written agreements to our clients just to outline what the deliverables are for which dates and what the licensing is and etc. I think the main benefit for me is like keeping clients in check just keeps people accountable for those dates so that things don't slip and then get, just get out of control and then the delivery doesn't make it on the right date. You know what I mean? Or we don't make the deadline because of that. To Today I'm creating concepts to deliver tomorrow. So the first thing I want to do is look over the brief. I've already looked it over, obviously, and I have an idea of how I want to be, but I just want to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. I want to brainstorm different children's poses. The two children that I'm illustrating could be like, one could be playing the violin, one could be dancing, one could be doing acrobats, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to brainstorm what I what those poses could be so that they can then choose from them. I think I want it to be very playful line work, similar to like the energy of like a Quentin Blake, not obviously a copy of, but just that roughness. Um, Cause I think that will go really nicely with like the energy of the piece, especially because it's like performing arts. The mood board images they included for me were very like painterly. And I don't know if that will work. Of course, if that's what the client wants in the end, I'm happy to do it, but I will be making my like recommendations as well. And then the last thing is to put together a deck with the sketches, the options and my recommendations. Then we're going to deliver tomorrow. So some of that can be done today. Some of can be done tomorrow. It's actually a public holiday today. So I don't want to stay here really late. I just came in because I had set deliverable for tomorrow. That's it. Let's go. So we're going to just brainstorm in my planner. This is not going to be a visual brainstorm. This is just going to be things. So we've got music, plays, dance. We'll go musical and then like orchestra, I guess. So for musical, we could have someone singing. We could have dance same with dance obviously ballet i think um, obviously ballet is the most iconic visually and it probably is what i go with if i'm going to go for a dancing pose for orchestra will be like violin we'll go instruments um trumpet i think these are playful instruments that reminds me of school band a bit nostalgic which is always something i try and pull in my illustration projects violin trumpet a triangle would be kind of humorous i might present that because it's cute so i think ballet with tutu singing yeah singing might be nice just like we can include musical notes i do think i'll end up doing like a ballet pose and like maybe a triangle of violin time to sketch this is gonna be fun now i'm gonna do a visual brainstorm where i'm just kind of like sketching people doing things i will use reference and stuff but it will be super loose reference more just to make sure i'm getting like the way things look and like the illustrators are of children and children aren't always the most technical performers so it's okay if it doesn't look completely right
nice, isn't it? Do you think it should be tighter? So I, I, if I finish this, I can leave. Oh. Yeah, so what are you up to? On white, what does it look like? That's what we need to see. Dead. Yes, how do I screenshot this? Boop. Oops. Yeah. Obviously, so this isn't the most legit way to do it, but I just want to see for myself how it, it looks. Okay, so add. Insert a photo, we're gonna do these bad boys. Oh my God, isn't that just so cute? That actually looks adorable. I really hope I can do it like this. I love like the limited palette created from that yellow. So we'll keep them as they are. I think I'm finished with this. I'm gonna put this together tomorrow and deliver it in the afternoon. You who welcome to the day. It's the next day from yesterday. It was a great day. I love the sketches I did yesterday. They're a bit more high fidelity than I probably should have gone. I feel like the final art is going to be different from this, which is supposed to be the concept sketch, but I just got a bit carried away. I can't help myself. What I'm doing today is I'm building a deck to present the direction I want to go into the client because what I want to do is different from what the mood board images are. I do think the mood board images are a bit like kids literature and it is for a kids festival, but I just think this is gonna work better with their branding. So I really want to present it to them. I'm trying to convince them that this is the way to go. Of course, if they don't want that and they want something else, I will, that is my job. I will make the client happy, but I would love to go this direction. It's very fun, very playful, loose. Putting together the deck is like super crucial because the deck is like the convincing factor. Just. Ignore the mess in the back, okay? Good. I'm telling them to ignore the mess in the back because it's really messy, but it's fine. Okay, wait. Oh, I have to do a screen recording. Oh my god. Imagine I did the whole thing without screen recording and it's just reacting to me making it. Like, not one speck of footage of me making it. Hello. So the dramatic irony is that um, I lost the screen recording. I did record it, but I, I think I must have deleted it because it's been about a month since the project. So anyway, we don't have the footage. I can take you through the deck though. If you guys want to see me making a deck, I actually did a dedicated video to how I put together my client decks. But in the meantime, let's go through it. So we've got a title page. I've just done it in like the branding colors of the pavilion. I think I would love to do like my own uh, Furry Little Peach branded deck, but I just haven't had time to do it. I need to set aside time to do that at some point. So first we've got our proposed figures. So these are the uh, figures that I wanted to draw because obviously there was a lot to choose from when it comes to like kids performing arts and stuff like that. I always include like rationale behind what I wanted to do, highlighting different details that I want approval on or feedback on, which is like the musical note, how loose the style is. I outline the feedback required at the bottom. On the next page, we've got proposed style and palette. Sometimes with projects like the Initial sketch is a lot looser than the final product, but in this case, I wanted to keep that looseness. I also included the proposed palette, which is like the the gray scale on yellow um, and just like explained why I wanted to do that and then asked for feedback that I required on that. And then next I included what these illustrations could look like on marketing stuff. So they had provided a an example poster to me and I just like plopped the sketches on that and then also like took a screenshot of their website and plopped it on that. I think it's a good idea to do even just for yourself, even if you're not gonna present to the client, just so that you can see whether it fits. I think it fits, I love it. Last page, it's just the next step. So again, just reiterating the dates just so that we're keeping people on track. After that, we got feedback and the feedback was they wanted color, like more color. Their mood board imagery was really colorful. So I decided I would just like create a new palette for that inspired by the yellow in their branding. Also, they wanted to drop the ballet dancer and do a different character just because there's not gonna be any ballet themed performances in that kids festival. So, then I decided to go with a kid doing acrobatics. I think I loved the character that I created for the ballerina. And so like I decided let's just make her into an acrobat but keep the same character because I just love the movement and I loved her hair and stuff like that. And I thought it was really fun. So I turned her upside down, made her do a handstand instead of like a, honestly, I don't know ballet. It's like that thing. I took a few sketches to kind of see what I wanted the acrobatics person to be doing. Like I did a bunch of cartwheel sketches and stuff like that, um, just loosely at a cafe. I refined the violinist sketch and I turned the ballet dancer into an acrobat. <laughs> oh, I also like proposed that we do cyan and magenta with that fluorescent yellow kind of inspired by like risograph printing. Um, I thought, thought all fluoro colors would go really nicely together. And then I also wanted to do it with... 
I presented a few options actually, some of them more limited, some of them more fluorescent. And then we got feedback and they wanted to go with the cyan magenta option, which was my preferred option. So I was happy about that. So then I moved on to the final, final artwork. So I took those refined sketches and I just traced over them. I did have to do them at a larger size. So the brush was a lot smaller than it was in my sketch. Um, and I ended up tightening up the line work a lot more than I initially had planned which we'll get to in a second. And then I went in with the rendering. Uh, I love like the very coloring in page style of the final artwork. Cause I just feel like it goes with like something a kid would create, which is really fun. And then the client wanted a version with the yellow outline and without just so that they can use it in a more versatile way, which is fine, super easy. Um, and I did that. So the last I added on the yellow outline and then I exported the artwork and sent it to the client. And then I was expecting one more round of like slight tweaks in case they wanted. I always leave room for tweaks after final artwork and they didn't have any feedback, it was done. So that was awesome. The project is live now and they released like a little animated version of it, which I'll share. There's no print collateral at the moment just because like the festival's in like October. So it's a long way away. I think they're gonna advertise it closer to the date. So I might have to update you guys like in another vlog, but I just wanted to show you the final result. I also wanna do some reflections. I think that I was super limited with the, the brushes that I used when I was working with the largest file size because like the lines were thinner because the maximum brush size is capped. In the future, I probably, if I had more time, would have experimented with using traditional medium to create those loose, brush lines just to see how that would go because it would be really cool to do it traditionally. It is a little tighter than I initially wanted. If I could go back, I would make it slightly looser, but I think the style that I was after kind of transformed after like the gray scale was shifted to a colored rendering. The brush size limitation I think is gonna be something that limits me in the future. So I would like to find a solution in the meantime before my next project. I think I wanna do some tests with traditional and do some tests with digital, see what other brushes that I can use so that when that time comes, like I'll be ready. Overall, I'm super happy with this. I love projects with the intended audience as kids, just because I feel like the gap between my natural style that I love and stuff that's for kids is like, there's no gap, like it just can be used. So it's like really freeing. Like another thing that I love about projects like this is they live outside of my, outside of me and my work after the project's finished. Like I don't need to promote it. It doesn't live on my social media. It literally exists in the world and people can enjoy it without me having to share it, if that makes sense, which I love. If you have the potential to get me projects like this or you have a project that you want me to do, please email us. I love commercial illustration projects. You can email us at chris at furrylittlepeach.com. <laughs> and I also would like to say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video as per usual. You guys know I love Squarespace. Squarespace is the best. When this, when the final print collaterals out for this project. I am so excited to put it in my portfolio. Before I used Squarespace, I was dr I dreaded upload updating my portfolio. But now that I like I've been using Squarespace for like seven years and I'm always excited to up update my portfolio. It's so easy that it's like it's not a chore. It's just exciting because I'm like click, 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 type, 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 and then it's done. And then my potential clients or like you guys get to see like what I've been working on, which is so fun. Templates are gorgeous. It's super easy to use. And if you've been thinking about making a website, you should do it with Squarespace. If you haven't made one before, go to squarespace.com slash very little peach. You get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Thank you, Squarespace. Also, thank you guys for watching. Love doing this project. I'm so glad I got to do it. I don't really have anything else to say, but I'll see you super soon. And thanks for watching. Bye.